Good morning, Soul Embodiment Tribe. Bridget Patton here with Soul Massages. I felt prompted to connect with you all this morning because I'm noticing a theme as usual. And this one has to do with patterns and belief systems. And I kind of wanted to explain what happens in our subconscious mind as we're moving our projections for our reality from the uh, the back of our brains and projecting them forward through our third eye chakra into our into our reality. So what I'm noticing happening most often is that people are trying to create their reality, a new reality. But what's happening is they're attracting old patterns, things that they thought they had overcome already, things that um, they felt were long gone because so many other new opportunities have re been replaced in your reality. So what I want to explain to you is what's happening when you're trying to create a new reality and old patterns and things keep coming up is when we allow our ego to attach onto that old pattern and we give it energy and we focus on it and we, and we fix it and we solve that problem, what we're really doing is we get a really high high because we have that feeling of source coming inside of us and we feel really charged up and we're going to conquer the world and we got a message and we're going to take action and we can feel inside of our body that this is what we need to do. And then what happens is fear starts to come up. Fear comes up, so we either acknowledge it and we move forward in, in place of, in a courageous vibration or we end up falling back into an, an old pattern. And it's, it's sneaky. Our ego's sneaky in attracting those things from multiple perspectives because we are here to learn how to overcome them. So when we go in and we give energy to this, uh, issue that's coming up or whatever pattern it is that is trying to be broken, we end up actually staying at a lower vibration. Even though we feel victorious and we feel like we solved a problem and we get excited because we figured it out, what we've really done is we've we've deepened that pattern. We've moved that pattern even deeper into our bodies. And now it's become even more a part of us. So then when that next beam of light comes in, that next download from source comes in, now we think we're moving forward, but really we're still in the same reality. We're, we're moving through the same patterns in the same loops. We go up really high and then we go down into that low space so that we can conquer something and we can feel victorious again. And then we move up into a higher vibration and we get our, our download from source and then we move back into that old pattern again. So I'm just explaining this from a vibrational standpoint because if you are getting the same patterns coming back over and over again, it doesn't mean that you're broken. It doesn't mean that it's impossible to overcome. What you are feeling inside of your body as a possibility and as an inkling of what could be is true. It's absolutely true and it is possible to obtain. And you have the, the blueprint inside of you, the roadmap inside of you. Just what happens is we keep going on the same road from multiple different directions. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to a new destination, to a higher vibration. That's what I help people with in my Crack the Safe course. That's why I created it because I notice the patterns that we attract into our reality. I notice the different emotional vibrations that we need to move through in order to get to that place that we know is available to us, that place that feels like home. And that is not in another person. It's not in another situation. It's not in another experience. It's inside of you. And the best way to get there the fastest way to get there is to latch on to another energy vibration and make it your own. So we have this ability inside of us to transmute energy, meaning we can feel a sensation or an emotion and we can bring it into our bodies and we can transmute it into our own understanding and we can process it so that it applies to us in our reality without getting sucked into somebody else's story. And this is where I notice a lot of people um, getting into those old patterns again because they're 
they become codependent on another human being or an experience or a, um, a situation. And what, what that does is it creates anchors in your old reality. And I'm here to teach you guys how to create those new patterns for your new reality because we have to know how to anchor into that time and space. If we don't know how to anchor into that time and space, those old patterns are going to keep coming back up for us. And it's because it's just, it's a way for us to stay in this safe space, this space that's known to us. Because if we know how to conquer that problem over and over again, that gives the ego a sense of security and peace and well-being and that this is um, something that's comfortable because you're attacking this problem, this essential, this illusionary problem from different emotional standpoints. And Yes, it does create a pattern, and yes, it does build strength, but my question to you is, is it building your spiritual muscle? And I want to explain what a spiritual muscle is for a second. A spiritual muscle is having ownership and responsibility without excuses of what's being created in your reality. And if you are not taking responsibility your ability to respond to these energy vibrations that are coming in, these emotions that you're feeling, if you aren't able to um, take those and transmute them so that you can create what you desire, then there's a break in the energy field. There's a break in the efficient energy flow process inside of your body. That means it's coming in here and it's getting stuck and it's resisting. And I don't really like using the word stuck because I don't believe in that. But depending on where you're at along in your journey, it may feel like a block. It may feel like I'm stuck. But really what it is, is you're fighting a part of yourself inside and you're resisting becoming authentic for some reason. There's a belief system in there. Uh, somebody else that you matched vibrations with that was a mentor along your way. It could be your parents. It could be a teacher. And what ends up happening is we start mimicking that pattern of energy. And because we don't know how to create that next highest level, the best thing you can do, what I was getting ready to say, is get into that energy vibration with somebody that resonates at that next highest level. If you are feeling it and it's resonating and it feels good inside of you, it isn't to trick you. It isn't to show you something and then take it away. Hello, good morning, you guys. It's there as an inspirational piece. It's there so that you can receive that biofeedback and learn how to mirror for yourself that energy. And when you're feeling that from somebody, that is how we, that's how we learn. We're, we're really just children in adult bodies and the same concepts apply. So if you, if you watch children, they suck your energy dry <laughs> because they don't know how to create the energy on their own. And as adults, we tend to get into that same pattern. We, we get energy from things externally rather than learning how to draw from it from within. And that's what I help you guys do in my Crack the Safe course. So if this is something that you're interested in, I would love to chat with you. I do a 30-minute complimentary um, synergy session. And if anything, it's nice to connect with that vibration so you can feel it for yourself and you can resonate with it and you can and you can learn to discern in a, in a deeper way. So that's what I'm here for. I just want you guys to be able to feel the vibration and know and learn to discern what feels amazing and what's going to help you get to that next level and what feels like an old pattern coming in. So there is a difference and it is absolutely possible to break through those. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and that this message goes to your heart and you're able to take it forward with you throughout the week. Have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.